How do you wait patiently for trade? Seems to me if I do not trade, it doesn't feel like complete day even though I even though indicators do not give signals for trade. Uh, check Euro MXN. Um, yeah, so if you feel like you want to take trades every day, that means either you want to make profits quickly or uh, yeah, maybe you want to, you are rush to make profits. You maybe you want to change your situation, whatever it is, uh, by, by, uh, by trading, I think. But, um, you know, uh, don't, don't really push yourself too hard to take trades every day. Um, because um, you may have more losses than the wins every day. That may be stress more. So, yeah, I think for me, for me, I think uh, it's better to take less trades, but uh, be more precise on your entries be precise and selective on which markets to trade and yeah, get exact timings. Yeah. Yeah, because, because I say this because I thought, you know, I thought when I left the full-time job, I thought I would have more opportunities to take trades and if I have more opportunities, I thought I will make more, prof more, more profits. But uh, it wasn't really true. It wasn't really true. I was dreaming to leave my company and uh, trade full time. And I did it. So when I was working full time, I only had two hours, three hours to, t to take trades. But within two hours, three hours, I took 20 or 30 trades. I took so many trades because I wanted to make profits and uh, quit the company. And I did. Uh, and after I left the company, uh, full time job, became a full time trader. Of course, I can have 24 hours to monitor take trades. So I took lots and lots of trades. Yeah, in, in one day, some day, I think I, I, I traded maybe 40 or 50 trades in one day. But uh, I kept losing. I kept losing and losing. I kept, I, uh, I lost more than when I was trading part time. And I thought that's something wrong. So that's when, when I changed my mindset, not to take many trades anymore, every day. So yeah, uh, you know, take less trades. Uh, we, you also have to learn how to stay away from the charts. Without looking at the charts, um, you simply, um, you know, um, stay away psychologically also. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And, but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never 
except just because the market retraces that retracement might still be a temporary and the market may go up continuously but sometimes market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse in wave maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market start to go down continuously then you exit there with some profit so never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important and my strategy is built in this way so hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower so until i see you on the next one please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold all right bye for now matane thank you